what I see here, the back end is fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. I see a roll cage, you know, I'm happy. It's what's at the front of it. Let's just, let's take a look. What's going on guys, Cesar Media here. Today I'm gonna do a quick garage update or driveway slash garage update because a lot of you have been noticing slight change in my driveway and in my garage. I got a couple of BMWs sitting in the driveway. I got a Ducati sitting right here. So I was getting a lot of questions like Cesar Media, are you into Ducatis and BMWs all of a sudden? A lot of you noticed this is my LS6 FD. Uh, last time I did a video on this car, I think the engine was still a Besnick engine design. Next thing I had to do um, is uh, build the harness for it. What I essentially have to do with a harness here is make the LS harness for this engine together with the Mazda chassis harness and then combine the camera ECU harness. So I got the camera ECU pin out, combine everything and hopefully it starts without catching on fire. This is my roommate's Ducati 1098. I'm not into Italian bikes, but it sounds good. As in good, it sounds like it's broken all the time with its scratch system. Of course, here I got my FC09. This is the bike I took on the track, which was a blast. 900 cc Stoke Monster, three cylinders. And uh, I installed a cage recently. If you saw that video, turn signal flash mounts, looking great. I also have here a Yamaha R6 2012. And this is actually the vehicle I traded my Datsun 260Z for. After I did the track day on my FC09, which was a blast, I realized that the, the stance on the FC is a little higher. So like I'm standing up a little higher, my handlebars are higher, and I kept scraping my pegs. So after the track day, I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna look for a R6, which is a bike I used to have, a 05 R6. But fortunately, one of my subscribers from Grand Rapids hit me up. He's like, oh, you know what? I have a 2012 R6. If you want to trade that for Datsun, and that's how I end up with an R6 2012. This will be my track bike, so I probably won't even register this to ride on the streets. To be honest, it's a little too uncomfortable to be riding on the streets. Got my cafe racer here, of course, 75. Last time I put the wheel sets, got the vintage license plate. And over here I'm working on my 13B RX7. Of course, it's a rotary. Uh, a lot of chaotic harness mess going on down there, rat's nest. So you guys have all seen this. I brought this car home, I drove it home, and uh, it was running okay, but I let it sit for basically a year. Now it doesn't start. It's getting spark. I changed the spark plugs. It's getting fuel, but every time it cranks, but it doesn't fire up. I'm not sure why. So I'm still diagnosing this. And once it's running, I ideally I want to street drive it. But with it becoming almost winter time now, and uh, me having to finish this LS6 FD race car. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the uh, 30 b yet. And today actually Rod Dam is on his way to my house to pick up a uh, aluminum drive shaft that came out of the FD, 13 b FD. I'm gonna show him the LS6 FD and try to see what his reactions are. I'm sure you guys all know Rob Dam, right? He's building the four-door all-wheel drive RX-7. He's got the three-door RX-7. He's basically like a rotary god. So I am looking forward to show him my 5.7 liter non-rotary FD RX-7. What's funny though with Rob is that his daily driver is a CTS-V, which is a uh, less engine, basically one of these things. So um, for daily use, He's going with a reliable choice. All right, so here we got a BMW 2002, which is probably one of the uniquest BMWs out there. This is a 1974. It's actually not my BMW. It's my roommate Sub's BMW 2002. It is in a running condition. So it starts up, runs fine, except uh, it needs some love on exterior and interior. Yeah, little dirty right now, but it starts, runs, just needs to be cleaned up so as you can imagine my roommate's also a car guy an idiot, an idiot. <laughs> i don't know about that because he bought this 2004 cts v which also has ls6 that's in my fd to swap into the e36 m3 which is sitting over there so i don't know that that sounds like a smart decision to me of course this is my 280z 78 
I've been dating this because this thing is a lot of fun, reliable, and good on gas mileage. And it's a lot of fun to drive around town. All right, so here's another car my roommate brought over. It's an E46 M3. And what color is this? Carbon black. Carbon it's black. Blue and black at the same time. Yeah, so this car is for sale. So I put the link in the video description below if you want to check it out. If you're in Michigan. And here's my uh, new DD. Keep going, troll them. <laughs> clickbait, clickbait. <laughs> This is actually a Motor X R33 GTST. Yeah. GTST GTS-T with a GTR badge on it. Because the previous one I put on the GTR badge. I didn't do it. And according to Ron. I didn't do it. Because he's not a poser. I didn't do uh, it. Promise. The, I tell anyone it's a fucking GTST. <laughs> <laughs> tell them the worst part. Tell them that it has an LS6 too. Oh, yeah. So this yeah. is LS6 powered also. So we got a lot of LS cars here. I'm just right. kidding. It's RB25. But it is Motor X car and it's for sale too. Yeah. Yeah. No, this thing is super clean. Very clean. She actually tried removing this, but told me that the clear coat was coming off. Yeah, so, please uh, don't. That's a serious upgrade right there. And look at this bitch ass Nissan logo. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I always forget about this. This is Skyline. And you got this tiny Nissan logo you can't right. even see. And here's the most JDM part of the car right here. Bam. That just added like $5,000 in value. Caesar <laughs> Media. So JDM. And then here's a car you have never seen before. My Evo. Nothing has changed. Not getting much love here. Um, I also daily drive this. The plan is to go E85, new fuel pump, fuel injectors, and hit 700 wheel. But we'll see when that happens because I've been having too much fun with my motorcycles and my Datsun and whatnot. And here's my big ass truck that I use for towing stuff. Nothing has changed. It's actually leaking coolant right now. So there will be video series of me replacing whatever is causing this car to leak. And then here is my roommate's E36 M3 that he's daily driving. That's gonna get LS6 treatment here in the future. I'll probably do a video on this and video on the 2002 BMW. So we're waiting for Rob Dom to get here. Uh, we're just gonna go grab a drink real quick while we wait. Just easy. Yeah, sounds good. Easy. Hey, and that's how I drive my Evo. <laughs> Hit the boost a little bit and shift. That's it. <laughs> just a little tease. Depends on how far you wanna go. Where do you wanna go? Where is it right? It's the it's liquor store? The gas station. Right? Oh, well, wow. Are you getting liquor or something? Huh? We're we getting liquor or something? I mean. <laughs> Alright, so Rob is home at my house, of course, so we're gonna go back and uh, show him around the garage. <laughs> What's up? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Someone in there? <laughs> so this, uh, I just released a video today, 640 oh. or 630 horsepower. Uh, we just went to... At the uh, wheels? Yeah, at the wheels. Nice. E85, injectors, header, po ported and polished, uh, supercharger, uh, pulleys, both pulleys done. Yeah. So, in stock catback. So, it's headers and mid, you know, X-pipe, whatever, is all open, but the catback stock, so it is so... Huh quiet so yeah. I still daily it, so it's a sleep, sleeper yeah yeah a sleeper? Or, or more so <laughs> daily so i don't i don't modify another car oh yeah yeah sure right this is already modified yeah yeah look at my daily truck i mean so rob dam is gonna walk through some of the car and tell me what parts are on this car because obviously i don't know anything about rotary when i bought the car i didn't get a parts list so hopefully rob dam here the expert can uh uh, no pressure. Yeah, no. Can't no. point out some of the goodies on the car here. And, and there are some. There are yeah. uh, actually quite a few. That's what, yeah, I see bits and pieces, right? Like the yeah. Grady, that, yeah. that's probably an expensive piece right there. Yeah, so I mean, that's the, the Grady elbow, but somebody's modified it a little bit and okay. then they welded in or uh, modified this for the blow off valve there. Because by stock, the Grady elbow doesn't come with uh, a blow off valve flange. Oh, ah, okay, so, so that's welded in. Yeah. A lot of these uh, do like 99 spec upgrades for their turbos. Uh huh. So, um, this is the Y pipe that's metal and it's got some sort of again some sort of welded custom thing going on here but it's oh, really okay. yeah so that that's very interesting. custom white pipe yeah okay um, yeah definitely the, the, the dual intakes are uh, obviously uh, aftermarket there right some sort of uh, overflow tank or separate air separation tank right there 
Um, you've got the, the obviously the air pump's been deleted. Nothing really crazy it sticks out with the, the turbos themselves. So what is this, by the way? That's a tank that's meant to equalize pressure. It's a really weird feature. You okay. can get rid of it when you tune the car. I see. But it, it's just literally meant to like take the pulses from one end and turn it into more of a consistent amount of pressure on the other end. And I forget what, exactly what aspect of the rat's nest it's used for. Huh. Between the two rotors or between the apex? Um, I think it's more between the two turbos. Oh, turbos. With, yeah, it has oh, to do okay. with, because all the rat's nest is tons of solenoids used to control the twin turbo system kicking on one mm, after the other. Okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, you've got a, a variety of nice things. Yeah. Um, but you also have a very unmolested car in a lot of ways. What's the story on the car? What? My friend went to Japan and uh, he had to sell it. And I'm like, you know what? I will street drive a 13B, whatever. And then brought it home like Jobe home, parked it for almost a year. Now it cranks, doesn't start. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. The wing is the uh, Mazda Speed style wing. It doesn't have a sunroof. Um, it doesn't have the, the sunroof normally came with the R1s, but or without the R1s. Cloth seats, that was an R1 thing. Uh, but the backing is, is some sort of leather. So it, yeah, it, this, this one's a little bit of everything. It's kind of a, <laughs> it's a mix. It's a little Chinese, it's a little Japanese. <laughs> little, little Japanese. <laughs> yeah, these guys are actually helping build all the new drive shafts for all for the four rotors. So oh, that's, nice. Uh, okay. Funny you mentioned that. Drive shaft shop. <laughs> yeah. No, they're pretty famous. In, uh, yeah, they are. They're they're that type of company that has like a you know like a waiting list type of company. Mm. I can smell the transmission. It literally came out last yeah. night <laughs> in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that yeah, time. What I see here, the back end is fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. I see a roll cage, you know, I'm happy. It's what's at the front of it. Let's just, let's take a look. <laughs> let's, let's just do this. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> it hurts. It looks so wrong. It really does. That's, Look how nicely it fits in there. It's so oh. pretty. Uh, no. It's no, like, this is making me question everything. The problem is I've watched a couple of videos about it. Uh -huh. And that's like a distant thing. Like that's a thing out there. It doesn't exist right. in my life. I'm safe. <laughs> I'm, I, Touch it. Yeah, Touch no. it. <laughs> First contact. There you go. Oh. Oh. I'm going to wash my hands like 27 <laughs> times. It hurts. And it makes so much sense. And like... I stand for everything that this isn't, but facts are facts. Like your build is clean. That's the other thing is instead of just slapping an engine in there and calling it a day, this is an engineered vehicle. And, well, right. So the engine was completely rebuilt basically, right? Still going to keep NA, not going to boost it because I'm building for road racing. So I want that reliability. Uh, okay. Oil control is all dug. I keep something in the back, high pressure oil pump. Um, it's built to rev up a little higher. It's not going to rev up to 12,000 RPM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's going to rev a little higher, you know, T56. Reliability, because I'm going to beat the crap out of it off the track. Yeah, well, you know, and you not having a turbocharged, that power band's consistent. Right, yeah. yeah. This one, consistent, reliable power. Well, you know what I am very thankful for? Is that you do not have it finished, so I can't hear it start up. Because <laughs> it, it's like the most confusing thing. I've seen one off in the distance. I saw an RX-7, it was like in um, California, and I saw him driving by. And I saw him, but I heard a Corvette driving. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Where's the? Where is that? And it was, it was, it was. LL, it had to be LS swap. I'm like, I what I hear and what I see are two totally different things, and I don't. In I don't know what I know about life. <laughs> yeah, life, life threw me a curveball that day. Yeah. So you hear like, if I start this up, and if you're filming the CTSV, you'll be like the CTSV <laughs> yeah. running. <laughs> Isn't it funny? My daily is an LS. Right. Like a, a reliable, <laughs> warranted, solid vehicle. So back in your mind, you know what's reliable I know. and what's cheap and it what's... Hurts. It hurts <laughs> so much. Now, a lot of companies already make these motor mounts. So you can get Sunberg. There's like two, three different companies that make these kits. You can pay two, three thousand dollars. And it literally just bolts right into the T56 transmission, get a drive shaft. And it still has the FD rear differential. It's got the yeah. Cusco two-way, Okay. which I'm going to put it to test and yeah. see if it blows up on the track. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's funny about this is that I'm going to swap to T56 on my three-rotor at some point. You know, it's just too much. Oh, money. really? Yeah. Because huh. I, I have the adapter plate for the bell housing for the RX-7 to switch to the T56. So that mm. will happen. So I'll, I'll be like a step closer. To being like you so yeah you'll be hybrid 
that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. I never heard of that before. Yeah. Well, you have, gonna... to, you have to modify because the the T fifty six the gearing's weird. Right. For... I was gonna say the gearing. Are you gonna what what diff are you gonna? Uh, yeah, like so that's the thing is that I might go with a uh, like a I think it's like a four four or something higher because the otherwise the the first and second are way too short. Mm -hmm. um, if, if if I'm at the top of fourth and it's 140 150 miles an hour, that's ideal for me. Mm -hmm. Probably 150 because that's what it is right now. I, I in at the drag strip first through fourth, ride out fourth at the end of it. Looks like it's ah, looks like it's meant to be in there, right? And a lot of people go with the. Uh, truck iron block instead of LS really? which is aluminum and then you gain like 100 pounds but you also even more cost effective so you don't need both Rob, 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 what? <laughs> what? we got also used to be and Rob Dom in the garage of course you got <laughs> you know kid here has a red FD so also FD? but yeah. really? with body kit and everything this oh, uh, GT wow. wing yeah, yeah, that's not me. Right here. <laughs> this is what mine looks you live like. here? What? Yeah, I live. Nice to meet you, man. I'm yeah, here. likewise. Yeah, I got yeah. two FCs as well. Oh, I've seen your FC. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen. You've probably seen me drive. I actually, I yeah. lived over. I lived a little further, and I just moved here. Just bought a house here. This is clean, man. Yeah. yeah what is Check this? It out. Check it out. Oh my R1. god. Oh, it is R one though. So this is actual no, genuine no R one. Wow. Yeah, I drove to Nashville to get this actually like uh, You just got this thing. Ago. Yeah, two weeks oh, ago. Nice. No way, I got mine uh, right like Oak Ridge right outside of Nashville. Like, yeah, yeah. No, she she actually drove by and she's like, oh, they're all outside. Well, good on you. Yeah. Like, all right, cool, <laughs> come on by. Yeah, that's awesome. Hi, right, guys. All right, Rob, guys. drive safe. Pulling out, the kid was like, do a two step. I was like, I don't have it. Stock easy. I got a 300. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Say it. Smell it. It smells uh, horrible, dude. It's all in no, the cabin. I love it. I love it. I love it, yes. Why? Why? That's my music. 